Since the introduction of the first DSLR with HD video mode, people are obsessed with the incredible light sensitivity of those small cameras. Filming under low light conditions was always the weak point of camcorders and most people avoided to shoot in dark surroundings because the results weren't satisfying. With a complete manual control in video mode, getting a great looking image even at night is not a problem anymore. Adjusting aperture, ISO and shutter speed the right way is still the key to that professional film look. To get a bright image, there are two ways of increasing the exposure. The higher the ISO number, the brighter will be the image. Another way of changing the exposure is the aperture. If it is close to f22, the image will be really dark, but at f2.8, the image will be much brighter. When filming under low light conditions or at night with a DSLR, you have to push your ISO really high to get the right exposure. For most DSLR, the limit is still an ISO of 1600, otherwise the image will get really grainy. To keep the ISO low, it makes sense to shoot wide open, because the image will get brighter and you have a really nice shallow depth of field. But you also need such a lens that actually has an aperture of f2.8. Besides the manual video mode is of course an automatic mode, which means that everything will be adjusted automatically and you lose control over aperture, ISO and shutter speed. The problem with that mode is that not every shot will look the same. You might see a lot of image noise because the ISO is adjusted too high or the shutter speed is adjusted wrong and the image might start to flicker. Of course, it can also be exposed too dark, so this is why I highly recommend filming in manual mode. The same goes for focusing. When using the autofocus, the camera as well as the lens might have some serious troubles focusing on the right object because of the darkness and the shallow depth of field. That means you can also use old vintage lenses which only offer manual focusing. Most kit lenses, like the 18-55mm zoom lens, have an aperture of 3.5 to 5.6. What that means is actually that the image will be much darker than with a lens that has an aperture of f2.8. And this is because less light can actually enter the sensor. If you are using such a kit zoom lens with an aperture of f5.6 or even higher, it will be tough to expose properly under low light conditions, so it makes sense to look for a lens with an aperture between f1.2 and f2.8. Usually lenses with a big aperture are really expensive because you actually pay for the amount of light you can capture. But there are also some cheap ones available, for example like the Canon or Nikon 50mm 1.8 lens, they cost around $100. But just because you actually can film at 1.8, doesn't mean you should always do it because you have a really extreme shallow depth of field. That means the area which is in focus is really small. So you should always keep that in mind. I recommend shooting between f2 and f2.8. With the whole DSLR revolution came also a new trend. A trend to overexpose, especially video at night. But just because there is a tool doesn't mean it should be always used that way. I often shoot in big cities, for example in Frankfurt here, with an aperture of f2 and an ISO of 640. I also recommend shooting with a flat picture profile because it gives you much more flexibility in post. Exposing correctly at night is not easy because not everything in a room or in a city is lighted in the same way. Some parts of the image can be overexposed, other parts underexposed. This is also why I recommend shooting with a flat picture style where there is no high contrast and not too much saturation. Color correcting low light footage with usually more noise than daylight footage is a little bit tricky, but when dealing with an overexposed image, it is possible to correct that in post by lowering the highlights a little bit or by pushing them up if the video is underexposed. Filming at night or under low light conditions can be a lot of fun, but never forget, where there is no light, there is also no way of actually capturing an image.